Hello YouTube, I am coming on today for a review is what I'm going to call this. As you can see, my little updo style is gone. I actually took that out last night. I had it in about three weeks and I am getting ready to have my Senecalese put back in. Um on Saturday so I knew that I was going to have to um, wash my hair and blow dry it and all that good stuff and y'all know me I'm extremely lazy when it comes to my hair and I didn't feel like doing that so I had intentions of going to the uh, cosmetology school that's right up the street from my house not even five minutes <laughs> Um, one of my co-workers had suggested it to me. She goes there. She's natural. Uh, I'm not going to say she goes there. She has been there before several times to have her hair straightened. And, um, and she told me somebody to ask for, uh, but they weren't even doing hair this week. So I was just like, uh, I kind of, you know, was a little bit leery about even going. Sorry, y'all, stuff is popping up on the computer. Okay, I was a little bit leery about even going, because uh, I didn't have anybody to, like, really ask for. But, I did go. And let me give y'all a little background. Last night, I took my twist updo out, um, and I, my head was itching so bad, I had to wash it last night. And, let me, oh, God. Let's see. I'm glad I didn't put on pajama pants on yet, because <laughs> y'all would have seen all that. So, I washed it last night. I don't want to show y'all. Y'all know I'm not good with this technology stuff. I don't know how to do these videos and all that. I'm going to try to show y'all some shots of my hair. Um, here. Here is one. And I don't even know if you can really see. Um, maybe if I, I have a little light here, maybe if I... Uh, nah, not really much better. Um, that's my hair with no product. It's another one. No product in my hair. This is my hair this morning. And I'm going to try my best to try to figure out how to, um, insert these pictures. That was my hair this morning. My curls are like popping, lopping, dropping, whatever. Pop, locking, dropping. I said lopping. Um, but yeah. So I had conditioner in it overnight. Nothing major. Slept with Shark Cap. Took it off this morning and pulled it up in a little puff. Went to the hair studio or the hair studio. The school. It's called Regency Beauty Institute. Um, they are located all over I think um I they're very professional for a hair school um I can't say I haven't been to a hair school since I was like a child and I used to go when my cousin was in school um for hair but um they initially when I walked in the lady she's like hi do you have an appointment I was like no like um you have anything available now she's like yeah yeah I was like okay good um, and she got my information, all that good stuff, and, um, what, she, she asked me to have anybody that I wanted, and I told her, and that's when she told me the person wasn't on the floor, she was like, well, I'm gonna give you so-and-so, I'm like, okay, thinking, I hope she can do my hair, because I got a lot of hair, or whatever, and it's kind of different, so, girl comes out, um, introduce herself, whatever, takes me to the chair, asked me if I have anything in my hair, um, told her I had conditioner in, she's like, okay, so she, you know, put the little cape on me, all that good stuff, and then she, um, took me to the shampoo bowl, they use Design Essential Natural Products, um, they shampoo twice, conditioner once, um, 
I should have asked what kind of leave-in she was putting in my hair. She did put a little bit of leave-in in, and then she also used this spray. I think it was the, some kind of like a little shine spray, whatever she used on each section. Anyway, so what she did was use the dimming brush to kind of like, no, wait. First she used a wide tooth comb to detangle over my hair, and then she used the dimming brush, and then she started blow drying. Um, after she blow dried, she started using the flat iron. And she used a little flat iron for my roots, which, mm, they're okay. But, you know, at the same time, I didn't want my hair super straight. I didn't tell her that, but I didn't want my hair super straight because I'm getting braid or twist put in Saturday. So, this is really just to make it a little bit easier for my braider. And also, for me, because I didn't feel like blow drying my hair at all. Because that has a lot of curls. Y'all saw all that on them pictures that's a lot so anyway um she did that da, 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 and pretty much this is I'll show you what it came out to be if, when I first got it done let me y'all know I'm in North Carolina the humidity here is crazy okay I am ready for the dang on fall for real so that's when it when I first got it done yes I was in the car yes I might have been was I driving? I probably got a stop sign or something. That's me again. Oh, that looks look so pretty. Okay. Yeah, that's that. Curls, curls, curls. And, yeah. So that's that. You can still see some of the curls. It's not as, like, I mean, it's, 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 it's okay. Um, they're students, so I can't expect too much hair shit still but um I'm gonna go back over it myself when I get ready to roll it up tonight and um you know kind of straighten it or get the tangles out of the ends because last time when I had my hair flat iron y'all know I had tangles at the end and I know the problem was this time she didn't blow dry probably as much as she should have um before using the flat iron but it's okay because like i said i'm getting twists on saturday the back i think she missed with the uh baby flat iron because that back there is whew. but anyways just wanted to share my experience with you all overall it was a great experience i would definitely go back i would go back to the same person she did a good job for me uh, the best part about it is only nine dollars. Nine dollars to do this? No, no. Oh, mm, yeah. Y'all know I'll be back. Um, you know, she took her time. I can't say that. I mean, I, I would think all the students there would, you know, take their time. You're looking in the mirror the whole time. So if it's something that they're doing that you don't like, you can stop them at any, any time. It's not like you know they're hiding what they're doing. Um. But, I definitely, you know, say, give it a try. Um, I know that there's some naturals that don't put heat on their hair. I can tell y'all, y'all saw my picture, I haven't had any heat damage. And I'm going to be honest and say, when I had my hair flat ironed, I was putting heat on it every day. Um, last month, didn't have any damage. So, um, wasn't using no heat protector or anything. That's kind of bad. That's right. Well, it, it, I did use a little oil. No, I didn't. I lied. No, I didn't. I used nothing. But, um, so, when I had my, um, updo, she blow dried my hair then. Um, not because she had to. At first, I thought I was going to get it twist. I mean, get it braided. And she normally says she does, um, blow dry your hair but then I decided to get twist and she was like I'm sorry I wouldn't have blow dried your hair I was like oh it's okay because um I don't know if I mentioned I'm kind of trying to heat train my hair a little bit because my hair is so tight and I can already tell a little bit of a difference like I said I don't have any heat damage but I can tell that my curls are a little bit looser and I can tell they're a little bit more defined um that being said, I will definitely keep you all updated on my journey. Um, you know, this natural hair thing, it's all about what you want out of it. 
I'm not one of these people like, oh, I ain't putting no heat on my hair. Like, I don't care. You know, as long as I'm not damaging my hair, I don't care about heat. Like, okay, I put under some water, it reverts right back. Like, I really think, too, heat damage has something to do with your texture. Because I know that for my texture of hair, I can withstand more heat than somebody with a maybe 3C or, you know, a looser curl pattern. Um, I have a little bit more to give, I guess you could say. And my hair is a lot thicker than most people. Um, so, yeah. I'm not telling nobody to do what I do. I know it works for my hair. So, I'm just sharing my experience with y'all. It's 12 o'clock. I just got off work. I'm tired. Probably look it. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Because I need to, um, need to finish my homework. But then that's not happening tonight. But anyways, I just wanted to share with you all. Let me know if you all have any questions. And I will definitely come on soon um, to show you all my 